When my wife and I originally bought our kitchen table, it came with four chairs. And we always need more seating. The table has a cool hidden leaf that expands out to fit six people more comfortably. I always call it our transformer table. Recently we spotted a couple of chairs sitting at the end of someone's driveway. They were stained and they looked a bit rough, but they seemed sturdy. I figured we'd take them home and refurbish them and we'd finally have those extra couple of seats that we need. And by the way, our table isn't normally this clean. Well, that's more like it. I started refurbishing these chairs by removing the seat cushions. There were just a few screws holding these in from the bottom. I had some scraps of material that I had cut from a large armchair. I recently posted a video where I cut this big chair apart and got rid of most of it. The material that I wanted to use for these two kitchen chairs actually came from the arms of that other chair. I liked the two seams running through the material and I thought that might look cool on these kitchen chairs. I've never done any kind of upholstery work before. I've seen it done on TV and YouTube, but I have no experience with it. So you're witnessing my very first attempt. I point this out because I'm painfully aware that someone with more experience would do a whole lot better job. But for our purposes, I think this will do fine. pulled out my old staple gun and staples that I had lying around. The staples didn't always seat all the way down into the wood on the first try, so I had to do a lot of pounding the staples in with a hammer, or pulling bent staples out and trying again. I'm making sure the fabric is pulled nice and tight, and I'm securing it with staples. I wanted to avoid wrinkles or saggy material on the visible side of the seat. Can I point out again that I have no idea what I'm doing? I started with the front and the back edges and I tacked those in place. I trimmed off some extra material. Then I stapled down the left and the right edges. And then I moved on to the corners. And from there I just kind of kept splitting the difference in the areas between the staples. And in, in the end it really just came down to me making sure every little fold and spare bit of material was stapled down. I think this is one of those situations where there's no wrong way to do a project. It's really just whatever works and looks good to you. My daughter came over to inspect my work, and her reaction made me feel pretty good about my first try at recovering a seat cushion. I realized that one of the legs was wobbly, which was caused by a split rail on the side of the chair. I removed the leg and the split wood almost immediately just popped apart. This angle bracket is made with finger joints, but it was held in by four screws and a tiny amount of glue. I used a screwdriver to pry the finger joints apart, and they came apart with only a tiny amount of effort. And a little more wood split apart when I did this. I re-glued the broken rail. I put a good even layer of glue on both pieces and clamped it to dry. It's a really clean break along the grain of the wood, so I'm confident the repair will hold. After that glue dried for several hours, I reassembled the joint. I reversed a clamp to use it as a spreader bar so that I could remove tension from the joint while I worked on it. I again put a good even coat of glue on both surfaces and I put it back together. The screws helped to seat the finger joints back together pretty tightly. 
I left one clamp on that rail that I repaired previously just to help make sure that driving in the screws didn't force that glue joint back apart. I wiped up the glue squeeze out and let it dry for several hours and then I reattached the leg. And the leg is nice and strong now, no wobble at all. I moved on to lightly sanding the entire surface so that the new finish had something to stick to, and also to get rid of old crud that was donated by the previous owners. I had a can of black spray lacquer sitting around, so I used that. I had to go and buy a couple more cans before I was done. Our existing kitchen table and chairs have a slightly distressed look, so to match that I lightly sanded some of the edges. The new chairs ended up matching the look of the old chairs far better than I dared to hope they would. To help protect the finish from crud and drips from my own kids, and to even out the luster of the finish, I used some Minwax Paste Finishing Wax. You wipe this stuff on, you let it dry for 10 or 15 minutes, and then buff it off. This frankly was the biggest pain of the whole project, but Honestly, it didn't take very long and it did make a big difference. The finish is nice and smooth to the touch and it has an even luster. The last step is to screw the seat back on. If I was doing this again, I would have measured how far the seat overlaps the chair frame and placed the staples further in so they weren't visible outside of the chair frame. But you'd only ever know it if you flip the chair upside down and no one will be doing that, so no harm, no foul. If you like this video, please do make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.